Am I the asshole? For swearing at a co-worker for contacting me while on Do Not Disturb. I have a co-worker who comes to me for assistance. That's fine. However, when I'm on Do Not Disturb in Teams, he will send me multiple emails or call me on my phone. It's never anything important, just minor stuff that could wait until my meeting SR over. I've talked to him three or four times, telling him that he needs to either wait, or if he must email me it has to stop at one and I'll reply to him when I can. He's sent emails every few minutes asking for an answer. If I decline his call, he'll call right back. He's been talked to by management about this. Last week, I sent him a terse email when he emailed me several times during an important meeting. Stop. I've told you I'll get back to you when I can. If I'm on do not disturb, that doesn't mean unless your name is Joe. This is the last time I'll be polite. Finally, he emailed me again on Monday. Multiple times. So, I replied with something along the lines of do you know how to fucking read? Have you listened to a goddamn thing I've said? Do not disturb means leave me the fuck alone. We've had polite conversations about this, but I'm going to be more blunt fuck. Off. You're actively hindering my work. Note he's not trying to bait me, he's just thinks that he should be able to get an answer right away from a person. He and a few co-workers claim I was an asshole and out of line for swearing at him and being demeaning. Am I the asshole? ESH. Your correct course of action should have been to CC his manager on one of the multiple emails you get from him, explaining that you've asked him to stop calling you on your phone and sending you multiple emails demanding an answer when you're in meetings. If you cuss out your co-workers, expect a call from HR or a talking to yourself about professional conduct in the workplace. Asshole asshole two assholes, not one asshole and one guy in the right when it comes to a professional setting. Info maybe I'm confused but when you go on do not disturb doesn't that mean you don't get notifications of emails and won't get calls? There needs to be a justified R option. That dude sucks. You were 100 in R, but I don't blame you. You took every reasonable measure you could, but that dude clearly counts on people being reasonable so he can abuse them. SH, but I can't blame you. Info a few questions. What's the problem with sending you an email while you're on do not disturb? I can understand why it's a problem to call you or send an in but an email is in your inbox and you can choose not to look at it until you're ready. Also, what is this guy's position in relation to yours? When he contacts you, is he asking about things that he needs to get through his workday? ESH. Your co-worker is impatient and childish, and you handled it poorly. You both need to grow up. ESH your co-worker sounds like a nightmare, honestly. You're the asshole because you responded in a way that turned an inconvenience into a hostile work environment. What are you doing checking your emails during a meeting anyway? That's on you. If you're annoyed by the notification sound, then turn off your notifications. You can prevent calls by taking your landline off the hook or setting up D&D &D on your mobile phone. Everyone saying not TA has never had a real job. ESH. You never respond like that no matter how tempting. Just keep a record of everything and go to their manager, your manager or HR if you have to. As it stands now you are the more likely person to get fired. You can add a rule to Outlook to add a 5 minute delay on outgoing email. Realize you forgot something? Add it before you send. Realize you told a co-worker to justifiably fuck off but want to take it back. You have 5 minutes to take it back. Not the asshole after reading through Ops replies it seems he tried multiple times to handle this is an appropriate way. Was his email inappropriate for the workplace? Sure, but I think this is a the straw that broke the camel's back situation, and I'm hesitant to call OP and R for it. Well I for one loved your email. ESH. However while he will get talked to about being patient, you might be in a lot of trouble for verbally abusing and swearing at him. Life lesson never send emails while angry.
In the future, ignore the emails and turn off your ringer. Info what kind of place do you work in? Is swearing acceptable there? I've worked in highly professional offices where that kind of thing absolutely would not fly. You'd get called in by HR for swearing at a co-worker. Written up at the very least. I've also worked in places where it was the norm, people used profanity for emphasis all the time, and your email looks to be pretty emphatic. By those standards, you were not out of line at all. Yes H you're both unprofessional. You're the asshole. There is zero reason to not be professional, and in this situation, professional would include reporting him to his manager for corrective action. By swearing at him, you made it personal and that's not a good look for you. I'm sure he could claim hostile work environment now and he's got your reaction in writing to prove it. You've talked about this with him multiple times and you had contacted management about this situation. I would say not the asshole. Unless your co-worker have some cognitive disability, he should have stopped doing this. I would agree that wasn't very smart of you to vent your reasonable frustration over re-mail. I would probably do that in person. I don't think you should be punished though. Management knew about it and let things scalated and your co-worker again unless he has some kind of cognitive dissonance is an adult and should have known better. ESH. You sent him an email with language that's not acceptable for work. That's not okay. You could easily be fired for that. If it was in person you'd have some leg to stand on, cause you'd be able to claim you were overwhelmed and it was in the moment. But an email is thought out, you have time to realize what you're doing. Your co-worker sucks though, and HR and your managers need to be doing more. They are failing you. Yes H, everybody sucks here. He obviously doesn't get it. And apparently management hasn't been effective in solving the issue. But your response was so hostile that you shouldn't be surprised if HR gets involved here. Not the asshole but I don't think this is a good way to handle it either. Don't let him see that he makes you angry. Don't act unprofessional. Just ignore, get back to him when you get back to him. No emotion, just the info. And if it's info that is available to him elsewhere, give him that info. That is in the employee handbook or that is in the project brief. Maybe the interval gets longer with every email he sends. If he bothers you enough, then it goes to the next business day. You're the asshole. You should have gone to management again, now you risk being written up for bullying harassments in the workplace. ESH. As someone who works in corporate, now you've given HR ammo to discipline you as well for cursing at him in an email, in writing, that can be proved and used against you. Your co-worker is fucking insane, but you can't respond like that. Every time it happens you need to tell him to stop and cc your manager and his manager in your responses. When your managers have visibility to it see how bad it is all of you can have a talk with HR. Playing the devil's advocate here. I use Teams and our status is away, online, D&D are janky and often don't display correctly. No chat messages to my supervisor have even been marked as read even though we chat daily. Is it possible your status isn't displaying correctly to him? Either way, ESH. Him for disrespecting boundaries and you for absolutely losing it. Not the asshole while I would not have recommended actually cursing in an email, how many times does a person need to be warned? You're the asshole. He's annoying, but really, figuring out how to control your own working environment to cut out distractions as needed is on you. Just because he's the main offender, it's not like it's impossible for other people to call or email either. Just figure it out and stop checking notifications or keeping your ringer on when you're trying not to be disturbed. Edited to add also, it was really a bad idea to send your rant in writing, even worse than if you'd just said it which would still make you the R here in my mind. Jeez, that guy sounds like a pain. I would have lost it on him too. Not the asshole, he needs to figure out how to respect boundaries, especially ones he's been reminded about many times. Swearing in a professional setting will get a bad reaction, but sometimes people have to learn.
in a conflict, never put down anything in writing. Their harassment is hard to quantify but your text messages can cause problems for you. Not the asshole though, before I went WFH, people would actually walk up to my desk if I ignored their calls and emails during a meeting or presentation. You're the asshole. Enjoy being fired because this is unacceptable and unprofessional behavior. If you are on D&D maybe stop checking your messages. You're the asshole to yourself because now you've probably opened yourself up to being written up reprimanded for conduct. I'm not saying he's not annoying, it definitely sounds like it, but in a professional setting this was not the move to make. Hopefully your boss and or HR will have some level of understanding given that you said management has spoken with him about this before, but he could spin this as retaliation. Esh you weren't at all the R until you broke and cussed. I don't blame you but that's on the record now. Use your tools. Block him if you can, ignore him if you can't. If you have evidence, destroy him with it through the proper channels. Esh. I see how that is unbelievably frustrating and I honestly probably would have thought the same thing but actually typing it out and sending to him was the wrong move for sure. I would say ESH but really you're just TA to yourself for that move because I feel like he deserved it. So not the asshole although remember that actions have consequences and you could be putting your job in jeopardy. ESH. I agree with whoever suggested a jar option coworker is a total R2 but, and I am being a massive hypocrite here, you shouldn't have sworn at him, especially in writing. Send this to ask a manager. This is so satisfying lol. Not the asshole. Although you may be in trouble. Next time say it out loud so there's not a paper trail.